Well, it's Hoagie Honeybees with some sad news. I lost my colony. Uh, March 24th, I introduced um, pollen. Looked like spring was coming on. Thought that would help get the queen going. It actually did. She did start to lay by uh, the 5th of uh, April. And um, I did a varomite treatment. And I left that in maybe a little longer than I should have. I'm not really sure. But the weather temperatures weren't exceeding 10 degrees Celsius on too many days so I did leave it in longer to get more effect out of it. I removed that and then um, came back six days later to find that the bees had all expired. Now they were getting their protein and from what I understand from experts in the field that I've talked to through uh, you know Facebook and other people that I know in, in the in, that do farm them um, that they potentially starved to death because they only had 50% of their diet that they need, which they had the protein, but they didn't have the carbs. I uh, did have the syrup in here, and uh, this syrup was not being taken because the temperatures of the syrup didn't exceed 10 degrees. So, with the syrup being cold, it would chill the bees, and uh, they weren't interested in it. So, I guess they'd rather starve than chill funny creatures. So to determine if they've starved, uh, well here's a great example. So we can see this guy, this bee's buried as deep as possible in there looking, foraging for uh, for food. And um, the queen obviously died as well. And you can see where she did start to lay uh, in this area here. But needless to say, the uh, the tribe is dead, so we're going to uh, introduce another batch of bees, learn an expensive lesson, or not expensive, but uh, time consuming lesson, and uh, it's sad to see that all these bees have collapsed. So I'll, uh, I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see that some of them are buried in, head first, butts sticking out. They're looking for food. And I had just run out of honey actually. Um, sometime between March 24th and April 5th and uh, this is how fast it actually happened and we don't have the dandelions going and you can see there was some laying going on here the Queen had laid in this area um, but it just wasn't enough and there's a pollen patty I attached to the side and they were feeding on that but uh, there's the results right there so I'm going to clean the hive and um, just by shaking them off, I'm going to reintroduce a new colony, uh, a nuke, and I have one booked for tomorrow. And then I will um, leave these combs in here for that nuke to uh, to build on. So they'll, it, it's going to be a Langsford nuke, but uh, I'm going to put them in. From what I understand, if I put them in the opposite direction, uh, they'll, the brood will hatch and then the queen will move her way over to the comb and uh, start laying in it so that's what i'm hoping will happen and that we have a, a good season long winters early winters and long springs result in poor results in a hive so this is hoagie honeybees comments, recommendations, um, likes, subscribe. Thanks for watching.